When I get it poppin', it's a takeover. Tell them the lane's closed. Way before I flooded the chain, my sky was flooded with rain. No matter how much I put in. Oh, gang, it's your boy Nathan back again. We're gonna be reacting to Ghana, one of one. The album's finally out, landed today. 20 songs on this one. You know, Ghana's last album. A Gift and a Curse. I I haven't even got to say much about A Gift and a Curse. A Gift and a Curse is a magical album. Shout out to Ghana. Everyone was thinking bro's going to fall off, but he literally done the complete opposite and dropped the song of the year last year. One of the best out in the game right now. For me, best trap artist, and I'm very clear with when I say the best trap artist. Like, I'm very vocal in terms of how I, how much I like this guy's music. He's on fire, man. He's been killing stuff for a while. I already know that this album's gonna be fire. Like, bro can't miss even if he tried. The album before was DS4. <laughs> no misses on this one as well. Great albums. And yeah, man, we're here. We close to 20,000 subscribers. Make sure you guys go run it up. We're gonna press play. Um, the intro, the first track is called Collage. You know, Ghana usually does this thing on the intros. The last intro is back at it. Let's see if Ghana can top it off with this one. Let me know down below as well if you lot have listened to the album. <laughs> this is going to be a movie. I can't wait to press play. I hope you lot are ready. Let's get it cracking, man. It's go time, man. Collage, track number one. Let's go. We say it, chat. Audio come. Woo. Yep. Mm. I ain't gonna lie, bro is gliding on every song that he jumps on, man. We're gonna run it back. For sure, man. Yep. <laughs> yep. I'll be real at this point, it's easy work. And I always say, when it comes to Gunner's flow, like, it's something that we don't get bored of. Everyone kind of got bored of, you know, his flow. There's certain artists out there that be giving you the same sort of flow, and it just. After a while, like, everyone gets sick of it. And for some reason, when it comes to this guy, like, this guy applies the same formula to all of his songs and nobody gets bored of it. Like, he he uses the same flow in every song. Like, as much as I like Gunner, I'm not afraid to say that he literally uses the same flow on pretty much all of his songs and it hits every time. Like, I can't see anyone getting bored of it at any point. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no way. Yep. <laughs> you see, I got my first uh, rose from Spider. Free young fuck, man. How's it sounding, man? Yep. He said she's probably a tree. He keeps using tree within. I don't know. It's a new era of Gunner's music. Like every time this guy drops an album, he applies some new sort of lingo to his music. Like with DS4, obviously that's when the whole P thing came about. Uh, what's this track pushing P? And then now he's always referring to P, but on this one, you know, there's a lot of Trish, and I know Trish is a track from this album. So yeah, I can't wait to hear that one. I've been, I heard that, I saw that one live on TikTok. I saw someone post that, that one sounds crazy. And I know that it's on this album. So we're gonna get to it. But so far on Collage, Gunner's floating, man. Floating. <laughs> No way. 
Fire intro. I need to do a video ranking Ghana's intros because I don't know where this one's sitting. Ghana's got some fire intros. We're going to roll on to track two though, one of one. Shout out to everyone locked in, man. Hit up that subscribe button, follow up on Switch. <laughs> one of one, let's go. Yep. Shout out to the producer. Producer's cooking. This one's dangerous, though. <laughs> yep. 2018 became a millionaire. Um, now they thought I'd be dead or whatever. For real though, even after coming out of jail, everyone was doubting Ghana, saying he's gonna fall off. A gift and a curse is gonna be a flop. Like I have to repeat myself every time because last year there was big albums that dropped. For example, for all the dogs dropped, Utopia dropped. But the artist that had the biggest track of the year was the one that was supposedly meant to be cancelled. No industry help. Just, just kind of pooed on the industry, man. That's how it is sometimes, man. You gotta show, man, levels. so far two for two no misses one thing that's really caught my attention is the producers on the album the producers whatever gun the album it is the producers producers just seem to know what sort of beats that he can float on. And then all Gunner does, get in the studio and just float on them. Easy work, man. That's pretty much how Gunner be cooking all of his albums. And it slaps every time, man. No misses. And I guarantee you there'll be hardly any misses on this one. Comment down your favorite song from one of one so far, man, because it's going to be interesting for me to be able to, you know, pick out some of my standouts because it's hard. You know, when you enjoy a majority of Ghana's music, but you got to break it down and narrow it. So comment down below or comment within the stream what your favorite track is. It feels like we're also hearing that sort of Wana type sound, um, Wana slash DS4 type sound, where I'll be honest with you, all bros are really chatting about is women, um, things that you should, probably shouldn't indulge in, but it sounds good, and that's how he came up. I mean, DS3, Wana, DS4 was filled with anthems where he's just talking a load of rubbish, if I'm being honest, but it sounds crazy. Everyone enjoys it, and that's Ghana. The last album was very interesting, in my opinion, because he was actually talking about some real stuff, you know, going to prison, letting people know what it was like, coming out now, and, like, you're all of a sudden a villain in the industry, and then you got to talk your way out of it to get people on your side. But, nah, this album's fire. He's going back to that whole floating sound, man. I'm here for it. I'm W for win. One of one, that's fire. Let's bring on the next song, Neck on the Yacht. He performed that one at one of his shows the other day. This one's gonna be crazy. Yeah, okay, and they're gonna yap. Honey, put pop, they did up. Bad help, pop, and they twat. Woo! 
Don't get this shit back on lock. Walk us some part of hot top. Hot catching out on the lot. Turn the shit back up a notch. Turn it off. Fuck with these boys talking about. <laughs> he said, turn it up a notch. What these boys talking about? Um, everyone thought that he was sending for Future the other day, which was jokes, because obviously Future said that he's going to be dropping on Friday. Oh no, he didn't actually say that. Sorry, he said like something about your mix, uh, like forget your album, my mixtape better, or whatever. And everyone kind of got confused and thought it was a diss towards Ghana, because obviously Ghana's dropping today. However, it turned out that Future was just dropping a song, and yeah, we've got a new Ghana album. But this was definitely the lyrics that Ghana used in his tweet to reply to Future. Um, you know, he said what these boys talking about. This is clearly the song. And if I'm being honest, this isn't a bad song to kind of get back to future because this is a future type song. This song's fire, man. He's floating again. Yep. Yep. Wrapping up. All right, Garner's always flexing, talking about. Listen, I don't even want to talk about men talking about these types of things, but he's always talking about taking off his shirt. Now he said it on a gift and a curse. Like I, I get, it, I get. It. He came out of prison, his body's improved. We get, it, we get, it, we get. I wake up all I want is a. I wake up. Oh, no, no. We got to pull it. I like that bar. That bar's cold. You mentioned the nene. Woke up. But think about payday. Fire. All I want is a payday. I got rich with that doing the nene. Oh, you buy me the 10 on the rare. Get it in kind of faster than straight age. Got a Mercedes. Tell me what you can see on the e-way. Bottles like 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 e-way. We're going to run it back because the switch of flow is there. Fire, man. This one, this could be a potential anthem from the album. Mark my words. Um, it's the day of the release date, so we'll know when I has quoted this, so we can always go back to this video, go back to what I just said. But now I feel like this could be the one from the album that could go clear, just like If You Mean did, just like Push and P did with the last album. We have to wait and see though, let's see. I'll be honest, who's, who's actually competing with Ghana at this point? Like, who in the industry could you tell me is competing with Ghana? Because in terms of trap, like, for me, my favourites are Travis Scott, Future, Fugger. After that, it kind of stops. I love Carti, of course, Playboy Carti's fire, but I'm not that much of a fan of his newer sound. So for me, I feel like in terms of if we was to do a little trap ranking, it's... Future, Ghana, Travis, Fog, they're all in that list. I don't know in what order. Personally, if I was doing like an actual order, I probably would have Ghana at the bottom just because he's more of a newcomer compared to the other guys. Definitely not a newcomer, but you know what I mean. But if we were talking about live form and who's giving us the best music like on a consistent basis, this guy is definitely not lasting within those artists, which is very scary for me. Like Everything that he puts out hits every single time. The music slaps first time. You know, you listen to some albums and it don't slap on first listen. That that doesn't mean the album's rubbish or anything like that. But this guy's music slaps on first listen all the time. Like, I'm never disappointed. Yep. <laughs> I'm a model, I start with a crop, le <laughs> crop leather jacket. Leather jacket. <laughs> Can't believe these doubted. The flow is immaculate, immaculate, literally every single time. Every time. 
This is gonna be the one. This is one of those songs where you cannot stop nodding your head. The beat just fire, bro's flow's got you in a choke called fire. Fire, fire. <laughs> We're gonna let this one run. Why not, man? Yeah. I drop any pushback. I got a question for you guys though, because obviously our singles gonna drop. What's up? I'm proud of them. What song do you guys prefer as a single? Proud of them or what's up? Let me know because for me, I prefer what's up. What's up? Ghana was gliding. Even though it's nice to see Ghana with like a trap artist as a feature, that being offset, I still preferred what's up. Ghana was cooking on that beat. Don't want to chit chat. <laughs> I'm still gonna get my lip back. The chain, they remember that. You don't want it yet. Look at my accomplishments. I'm astonishing. What's him? They said a wife for the WhatsApp. I drop an eat. Cat in my contract. I just wanted to hear that second verse. Second verse is my favorite, can't lie. That's the only reason I'm letting this one run, because I've been listening to this song pretty much every day since it's dropped. Get money in. Company. <laughs> And that's my reality. Sasa. That's the bit where I just had to rewind it every single time. You have no right in your mind to be floating like this and switch the beat, switch your flow halfway through. We pulling it back, man. Pulling it back. And that's my reality. <laughs> Alleged that I got allergies. <laughs> Alleged to broke, I got allergies. I definitely feel Ghana with that bar. And to be honest, I've got so much allergies that I could just relate to that in general because I'm allergic to literally everything. So being allergic to broke definitely might be. Yeah, I can relate. <laughs> Yeah, what's in? They said the wife for the what's up. I drop any contract. Fireman. What's in? Next track, we got a, a, a Hakuna Matata. Um, I've never heard of that. I don't know what that means, but. Hopefully there's a little transition into that one because the beat for WhatsApp's fire. Let's see if there's something. Let's see if there's something. I'm ga I've gathered that this is a project where he's just going to be floating. And I know I keep repeating myself by saying floating, but this is kind of the vibes that he gave us with Wana where every track is just, it's just straight up vibes. Let's pull it back, man. Bro said from Lion. Oh, is it from Lion King? I, f I had a feeling it was like there was a it was, there was a reference that it belonged somewhere, but I just couldn't tell you where. But yeah, yeah, we're gonna pull it back just for that. Cause shout out to Lion King. Lion King's fire. One of my favorite um, movies growing up. It sounds poor, and people won't even believe me just because I won't remember. Yo, CJ, shout out to CJ, man. I'm 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 currently streaming on my. Yeesh. 
I'm currently streaming through my laptop and I've got my um, phone on the side. So I won't even be able to read messages like that. I, unless I zoom in. Let me, in fact, let me zoom in. Shout out to CJ though. But yeah, let's pull this one back. Let's pull this one back. Let's see what this one's saying. We say no. Hakuna Matata. Is that how you say it? Because I don't know what enough I said at the start of the track. <laughs> I said switch up my car, switch up my Addy and my family straight. It gets like that, man. That's what you gotta do, man. To keep them haters away from you, man. They don't belong anywhere near your location, man, for real. Different times on. <laughs> yep. Stay ready, I'm already prepped. Undefeated, I feel like the champ. Fire, man, it's flowing. This one's crazy, man. I'm not, I'm not seeing the chats pop up on uh, Twitch, man. Nearly 20k, yeah, yeah. Nearly there, nearly there, man. Nearly there, nearly there. We getting there, we getting there. Some is better my steps. Stay ready, I'm already prepped. And if you did that flat check, but it's not a hundred if you fucking get money, she turn them out to a chill. I can see the chat. You know how I come and I wanna show them what the world. Go pick up a bag and it's because the country and let it smoke in the air. Shout out to the producer once again. You've been cooking all over the album. I know Ken, um, Kenny, I can't remember his surname, or I don't know how to pronounce his surname, but Kenny slash Turbo are all over this album. The album sounds fire. Um, sounds like they were accommodating for Ghana big time on this one. The sound is executed very well. We know the vibe that he's going for on this one. The Gift and the Curse was fire. A bit more deep, a bit more dark. But on this one, you know, it's summertime. The sun's out right now. We're literally about to hit summer. This is the perfect album to play in the sun. Eating, what do you say? Eating, eating sweet corn out of pasta. Am I hearing it right? The flow, listen, the flow's coming too quickly sometimes. So let me take that one in again. Fire. Fire. Gang, there's no misses. Like, there's no misses as of yet. There hasn't been one miss. I'm looking at the track list. Collage, one of one, neck on a yacht, what's up? Hakuna Matata. Aye, that track name is funny in itself, but... Aye, Ghana, why do, why do you have to call this one Hakuna Matata? I haven't watched Lion King in so long, I forgot what that even meant, but... Nah, this one's fire. No misses. No misses so far. Six for six. Easy. Five for five. Three. Do you know why I'm nervous? Because I've got to do a top five songs for one of one, which I'm going to post on TikTok, YouTube short, so make sure you look out for that, but... I don't know what five songs that I'm actually gonna... What five songs am I gonna put together to say are my favourite five songs? Because whenever I do do those kind of videos, like, they're very personal to me. I'm not on there actually just picking random songs. Like, they're definitely the five that I want to show you guys that I love. But as of right now, like, these five tracks that we've just played could be my top five. So I'm very confused. But we're gonna play the next track, Trish. I saw Ghana perform that one on um, at his show, at his Bittersweet tour. Um, someone posted on TikTok. I know this one goes crazy as well. And now for a song that's not going to be a miss. Let's go. Shout out to everyone locked in, man. We're close to 20,000 subscribers on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button. Let's go. Trish, 
Nah, it's too easy. He's not even saying anything, but I'm just gonna pull it back because I like the beat and I like how he's jumped on the song, man. Oh, this one sounded cold for sure. For sure, man. Trish, 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 Trish,
<laughs> they hope I'll fall off, ain't no way. There's no way Ghana's falling off. And when people were like counting him out, saying, ah, oh, he's not going to be able to last after the allegations, etc. I was thinking, do you look, can you guys not hear the music that's coming out in the game right now? Like, there's no way that you're going to cancel Ghana before I've got a handful of whack artists on my hands that I can just list off. And I'm not going to say it, but... Before we talk about cancelling Ghana, bro, there's about 30, 40, 50 rappers in the industry right now that can go before we even get to Ghana because Ghana's definitely not going to be one of them artists that are fooling off. There's no way. I like that he said they went right, I went left and nothing was the same. Fire lyric. Shout out to everyone locked in on Twitch though. Make sure you look follow me up on Twitch because my numbers are lower on Twitch right now. So I'd appreciate if we can get the followers the followers up. So you're trying to hit 200 on Twitch. Yeah, we need that London show. Asa. I'm running it back because he's just cooking. He's cooking. The biker line caught me. The switch up or flows in between caught me. Beats fire. Again, production on this album's fire. People talking about he needs Wheezy. I don't I'm not even sure if he needs Wheezy. I think Wheezy needs Ghana at this point because the way that Ghana's music or it sounds kinda elevated since going to prison and things like that. Imagine if he actually had Wheezy now, like cause his rapping definitely has got better over the years. Crazy times. And yeah, bro, we need that London show, ASAP. Um, I'm going to be seeing Ghana at Wireless, but unfortunately, that's a festival. You guys know, for those that have been festivals, you know it's not the same as going to like a live show. They only really play music where, listen, only about a few people know some of the deep cuts in the albums. Everyone's there to hear Pushing P, If You Mean, like it's kind of jarring. But either way, I'm going to see Ghana in London in like in July. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I'll get a lot of content for you guys for sure. 200 on Twitch. Soon come CJ, man. Shout out to CJ locked in as always, man. You need that shout out for sure. That's fire. Hand me that lighter. This ain't a threat. This that biscotti. Fire, fire, fire. Let's go. <laughs> Listen, there's so many quotables and so many things that people could use for their Instagram captions. Like, let's just play that back one more time because I like that bar. That hit different. I keep missing these lines, man. Let me catch it. I keep missing it. I keep missing it. I keep missing it. It's awkward. It's awkward now. It was that. Ain't no human being determined my fate. And that's the sort of code that you got to live by, man, for sure. Like, a lot of people are going to try to write you off in this life, but ain't no human being can tell you what to do, man. I don't care if I'm coming on here to preach. Ain't, can't no one tell you what you want to do. Trust me. Go for them goals, man. <laughs> yep. Fire. Back in the A. I'm not going to lie, like, I've got to keep it real with you guys all the time. I'm not going to come up on stream, YouTube, etc. and lie. Like, I know certain people be reacting. They've reacted to things long time and then they post their reaction and act like they ain't heard it. But I haven't heard Back in the A. I mean, sorry, I've already listened to Back in the A. I've already listened to Back in the A, may I repeat. I had to listen to something on my way to work this morning. The sun was out. There's no way I wasn't putting on that Ghana album. Like, it's a, it's a new Ghana album. I couldn't get I couldn't get in the whip and not play a Ghana, a new Ghana song from the album. So... I've already heard Back in the A. Comment down below what you guys think about Back in the A. Um, I thought it was fire. And if that's not in my top five, I'd be surprised. Even though 
Haven't listened to much material from the album. Back in the A slapped. So let's play this one. Before it was back in Rodeo, now it's back in the A. Rodeo uh, ended up being my favorite song from A Gift and a Curse. So let's see if this one will be my favorite from um, One of One. Reminds me of the track Addies from um, Wana Fire. Oh, did Ebro drop an interview with Gunner? Thanks, thanks for commenting that, bro. I didn't even see that. Um, I'm struggling keeping up with the chat. Even I don't even know if you guys are going crazy or not. Obviously, I can see things, but I'm, I don't really stream much on Twitch. Right? I need to get used to how the buttons work because I can't lie. I can't operate my fingers to actually reply in time. But no, I didn't even know that Gunner had an interview with Ebro. After I listened to the album, put out the top five, I'm definitely going to watch that because... I know Ghana will be talking about a lot of things on there, but yeah, how do you guys feel about Back in the A? Make sure you comment down below on YouTube, and yeah, for those on Twitch, let me know how you feel about this one, because I think this one's one of those ones that just sound nice, it's cool, not too litty, not too slow, it's just something that I can just, you know, bop my head to and chill. I'm going to check that out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm right back on the A. Hey, don't let me go into a gift and a curse and play Rodeo right now. If Ghana told me that he created this album around the same time that he created uh, Wano, I wouldn't be surprised because forget even DS4. DS4 felt a little bit watered down as much as I'm a big fan of Ghana's music. Like DS4 definitely sounded a bit watered down. That was definitely the album where he was hitting mainstream and grabbing a new set of uh, fans. But no, this album definitely just throwing it back to Wano times. Like he's just having fun with it. <laughs> Put it drip on the map. Try them on all the plaques. Wanna got me in the status. So they understand money. Magic. Throw it back, throw it back on the bed. I ain't all black with the metal, we carry. Now, you get paid out of magic. I hang out to you niggas, credit. I'm in town on these, I'm adding. Next one down, and we always ready. Hey, hey, hey. And I'm right back to the A. <laughs> This just sounds like great music I can just get into my car and listen to. And that's what kind of made me smile when I first put them back in the A. I was just like, yo, this is definitely one of them ones. Uh, I'm just going to be driving, having fun with this. Volume up, full, blazing it, cruising. Let's go. Summertime. <laughs> Let me know if you lot are feeling back in the A like me, because definitely one of the strongest from the album. I don't know if it's my favourite now I've heard the rest. Trio, this track's only 1 minute 56 seconds, that's sad. No 
Fuck it, she said I made me with cause I'm a laddie Show from the city, used to serve on the side, my main bank Selling these addicts Hey, man, the kid, I don't know why I'm just trying to hit the bank Get another deposit Fuck all that kind of some motherfucking drug You go bro, they gon' I felt like I was daydreaming. Like some of these beats definitely got me zoning out, but I felt like I was zoning out when um, the track started playing. Let's go. <laughs> Just having fun with it. Um, not really being that experimental in this album. I feel like for those that actually don't enjoy Gunner's music, it usually is. This is not me accusing particular fan bases, but say for example, Travis Scott fans love that Travis is very experimental. A lot of beat switches going on, a lot of sample sampling going on, things like that. Some features that you could never think of being on the albums. You get those kind of fans that, you know, listen to Ghana and those are the kind of fans that, and that's not me dissing Travis Scott fans. Travis is one of my favourites, but I feel like for the people that don't enjoy his music as much as someone like me, you're probably going into Ghana's music expecting him to do some crazy stuff, pick the most craziest features, um, have like 20 beat switches going on. And this is not me throwing a diss at uh, Travis, one of my favourite artists of all time, but that's Travis's lane, being very exper experimental with it. But with someone like Ghana, like, yo, he's got this one lane that he's going to keep taking. And listen, he keeps prevailing with it. So why would you ever stop? Come on, get my coach like Dion. Bring that hoe you a rerun. Seen it before on a cool on the fear. When it's the counting up my yard. Came in away from the ear. I got the blue strip. I got the blueprint. I got the test that you learn. Come as a piece that I got the geek chip. I get the kick and key on. Come on, you can't get a refund. No, that's no, no. You fuck the promo. Made my big girl like me on. Call up a friend and have three fun. I can go do like a trio. I can bang in the reload. Niggas don't let it play B-roll. I'm gonna get me a B-roll. You know how I come. Got a pretty little studs in the nut at the P-hole. Straight from the slump. Looking go across the coast with a post on me G-O. Fire. To be honest with you, he's not taking that much risk on this album. So yeah, we could use that as like a negative. But for me, I've enjoyed every single track that's been on there. And I feel like when Ghana sticks to what he's kind of best at, you just got to keep doing what you're doing. It's similar to like Lil Durk. When Lil Durk does the whole melodic stuff, everyone eats it up. His album, Just Cause Y'all Waited, he done a whole album full of melodic songs. Everyone loved it. The next album, he switches it up. Everyone's complaining. So sometimes you got to... Listen, you can't make everyone happy in this world, man. And everyone's just out right, chatting rubbish anyway, man. Stick to what you know. Track 11, Still Prevail. By the way, I didn't say Prevail just because the next track was Still Prevail. That's very awkward as well. I didn't even know that was the track name. But let's go, track 11. I right, comment down below if you're still locked in as well. Big up the YouTube gang as well, man. Told you this one's gonna be one of the biggest ones we got, man. Oh, I think Ghana put this on his IG story because I already recognized the start of this. I'm a big Ghana fan, so I'll be hearing all the unreleased music, um, the snippets and things like that. I do try to stay away from them when I know they're gonna be on the album, but I couldn't stay away from this one, can't lie. Yeah. 
Yeah, the producers are getting all my attention uh, from the project one of one because you guys have been catering for Gardner Sound. Um, on his last album, I felt like that might have been more of a difficult job as well. So I got to praise Turbo as well for the job that he done on them. A Gift and a Curse. With songs like Bottom, one of my favourites. A Deep Cut from A Gift and a Curse, one of my favourite songs. Turbo went crazy on that beat. It wasn't a, the type of beat that we're used to hearing Gunner go crazy on, but this album, like I keep saying, is catered to his sound. He's cooking, cooking, cooking. <laughs> <laughs> he said they pay for their abs. He dissing Ghana. It can't be another Drake, this man. That boy's getting cooked too much this week. No more this is for Drake. This one slaps because it's a little bit slower than some of the other ones at the um from the top half of the album, but he's still giving you that flow on a, just a slower beat, and I'm still there locked in, more zoned in because the beat slowed down. Another one. This could potentially be in my top five, still prevail. Don't think the other songs that I've listened to you aren't potential shouts. It's just, this one stood out just because it's a little bit slower compared to the other ones. Your big mum know that. <laughs> I said before, people's biggest criticism of Gunner will just be he sounds the same, the flow sounds the same, but loving it, loving it so far. I understand as well, when you get too much of the same sort of sound, after a while you might doze off a little bit. Like, for example, the future album, We Don't Trust You, We Don't Trust You's Fire, but I remember listening to that on my first listen. Let me go on to We Don't Trust You quickly, I'm not going to play anything, but yeah, when I was listening to We Don't Trust You, when I got to about after Fred, I was thinking, yo, like this is kind of getting boring, but now I've given it time, I've uh, let the album sit with me, songs like Everyday Hustle, I'm um, not the biggest fan of GTA, I'm not going to sit here and lie, or seen it all, I like uh, what the you mean, I also like where my twin at, but yeah, all of a sudden those songs sound better because... I'll be honest, when cre especially creating content as well, there's a lot of pressure for you to like the song as well as, you know, listening to a whole album and acting like you don't get a little bit bored because music's meant to be listened to at different times, different locations, etc. But it is a handful always taken in these trap albums, but I'm enjoying it and I know this is an album I'm going to enjoy just because... I can sit here and I've, I haven't really got any complaints about it, I'll be honest. My bills, my grind. Fuck how nigga feel. Sipping OJ and Chris. Model with me, she lit. Black leather venom and trench. That's gonna go on my wrist. You be dragging me, she a bitch. It's something that's gonna stick. I do a lot of things, no miss. You be making me. I can do a lot of things, but not miss. Keep talking. No, no, no. She got four girls in hell. Beats fire. I remember he put this on his Instagram story. Knew this one had to be on the album. Still prevail. Let's go on to track 12, Blue Jet. We're getting closer to some more features. I think that's definitely needed at this point, you know, because, yeah, I'm having fun with Ghana uh, floating, but it'll be nice to hear Norman... Am I saying her name? Because I said Normandy the other day. My girl was cussing me saying that's not how you say it. 
How do you say her name? Either way, the track that she dropped the other day with Ghana on her Spotify page, her, it's a her actual record, isn't it? Not Ghana's. Ghana's feature on that one. That song slapped. So the fact that they've gone back to back on records and they're going to be on both each other's albums, sick. I'm gonna pull that back because he's dropping gems. <laughs> Money don't make you real, that's on my life. Nah, for sure. And especially when it's a rich person saying it, that just goes to show that it doesn't. But you know, everyone's got that one friend that, you know, gets a bit of money and that's different. <clears throat> <laughs> Adam said no money. Yeah, I thought so because I was in the car the other day. I was talking to my girl telling her, yo, this new Ghana song's fire. I put her on big time. She messaged me today saying that track by no ma no money with Ghana's fire. So yeah, I need to pronounce her name right because she's got an album dropping real soon and I'm a big fan of R and B music. The fact that Gunner's already on her album is gonna make me wanna to listen to it more, but I'm gonna look in for that look into that one for sure. Now we're not on TikTok live, but that's a shout. I should have just put it on TikTok live because I've got access to my phone, but I wouldn't be able to see the Twitch chat. That's the only issue. It's gonna be a beer for me to perform at your party. <laughs> I can't do no deals at all, I don't wanna burn. Let's go, that's Blackjack, rolling the dice. Uh, Blue Jack. I said, did I say, did I call this track Blue Jack the whole time? Blackjack. Crazy. It's gonna be a beer for me to perform at your party. I can do no deals at all. I don't want to burn. Let's go with that blackjack. Rolling the dice. Bro, punishing my back. Just cover my back. Next door, shade. Trying to find the daylight. Money don't make you real. That's all my life. Hip-hop up here. Yeah. Pop on the mic. Pop on the mic. A lot of shit they deal with. But we be alright. I've been told, telling you guys that the flow is laced, man. He told you I had to pop something before. <laughs> Hey right, Adam, what's your favorite songs from the album? Cause everything's fire. Can't nobody guess me, I know I'm on it. Wanna go stay focused every day on these days. Let's go with the black jack, rolling the dice. I'm missing my bag, just come on my bike. Blackjack's the one. That's the one that's gonna go under the radar. Again, because it's a slow paced vibe, but he's spitting. Yeah, he's spitting nothing but facts on this one. A lot of gems going across my head and beats fire once again. Next door stage, huh? Father, they like. That's on my life. <laughs> That's on my life. Had to pop up here. Pop on the mic. Like the shit they deal with. We be alright. We be alright. Lying in the field. I ain't no mice. Lying in the field. I ain't no mice. Yeah, shout out to Gunner One on that one. That was kind of giving me um 
living wild type vibes. I'm looking at a gift and a curse track list to see if it reminds me of anything from there, but no, nah, it didn't. Kind of reminds me, me of some of the deep tracks on DS4. Sick track. Conscious today, I did good. Neck on the yak. Proud of them with offset. Yeah, proud of them's fire. Um, today I did. Today I did good. I haven't even got. I haven't even come across that one yet. The next track, um, three dollar signs. My girl told me to watch out for this one, so let me look in. People aren't taking in Ghana's R&B bag because if I throw it back to DS4, some of my friends laughed at me because I like the um you and me, and I don't know why. I care about anyone's opinion. I don't, but you know when you actually feel a song and you're thinking, yo, like, how are you lot not enjoying this song? Because you and me, for me, from DS4 was a track that I liked. You know, if you were to ask everyone what's your favourite song from DS4, you know you're going to hear Pushing P, South to West, Living Wild, Too Easy, but not to say you and me is the best song on there, but sometimes I like the deep cuts. Like, you, the deep cuts that are, like, quite emotional. You and me, Life of Sin... Dialogue with Chris Brown and Young Blue, So Far Ahead, Empire, and uh, Missing Me. I thought that they were underrated songs from DS4, but more people were just focused on the lit songs. But people aren't taking in Gunner's um, R&B bag. And the track Banking On Me, produced by Metro, Flyer Song. For those that don't know, like when that track did come out, we had about over 100,000 people using the sound. So I used that sound on, spot on TikTok, and over 100,000 people used that sound. Um, Moneybag Yo's girlfriend Ari used the sound Kalani the R&B artist big R&B artist used that sound and I always say to this day even my friends tell me like you're the reason that banking on me dropped and nobody will believe me if I actually say it but trust me I play, I play a huge part as to why banking on me is out so I'm going to also claim that Gunner yo you need to keep this R&B run going because I'm feeling it yeah, I'm good. Vocals. <laughs> Do gymnastics, flip her head and from from the sky. <laughs> What's my favourite song from A Gift and a Curse? I didn't even want to pause this track because this track's fire, but I was listening to A Gift and a Curse yesterday. I gotta go with um Back to the Moon, Rodeo, uh Bottom right now. I don't know no more on, on my day. They're pr and go crazy. Probably my top five as of right now. What's your um favorite song? Comment down below as well. What, what's your lot's favorite song from A Gift and a Curse? Go on, no, ma, I can't say that. Dude. Fire. <laughs> he was having too much fun with the vocals. Yeah. 
He's showing now on that R and B um, side of his music, and this is the perfect feature. You know, he delivered a great feature for her album, and she's done the exact same. This song's one of my favorites. I right, Turbo Kenny, you lot been going crazy. Whole album, whole album. I don't want to hear anyone talk about he needs Tur he needs Wheezy. Get get out of it, man. <laughs> now nah, fire song, clear my rain. Leon Bridges, let's go. Shout out to Slide for Trav, man. Shout out to Adam B Bottom Rodeo, back at it. Yeah, big songs. Where's um back to the mute? Hey yo gang, this one's sounding kind of wild. Gunner was having too much fun with the vocals on the last two tracks. I mean, triple dollar signs, fire, but I don't know about this one. <laughs> Shout out to Astro, man. Yeah, I never heard. Okay. <laughs> you know what? Since Gun has come out of prison, he has jumped on some songs where, you know, I might be contradicting myself. Not really contradicting myself. I did say that, that with the album, there wasn't many risks taken um, at the from the upper half of the album, but um, since he come out of prison, like he jumped on an Afrobeat song, he also jumped on um, a track with Skilly Bang and Tyler, which is going crazy. That song's fire. What else did he jump on? There's a few other ones where I'm like, yo, this is Ghana coming out of his bag, but still cooking at the same time. I appreciate that, my bro. Shout out to Astro again. The last two songs are the type of songs where you just let it play. You might, you know what? I was gonna say you're just looking through your window. It's a nice day right now, so I'm currently looking in that direction because I can see out my window, but. You know, if you're on the move, if you're driving, one of those songs, you're kind of daydreaming. I shouldn't say that, but you're just kind of taking in the views. You're on public transport, you're on a bus train, you're just deep in life. You know, you've got the melodies in the background. It's th those kind of songs. Um, of course, those that want to hear the trap version of Ghana, you might not be impressed. You have to cater for all sorts of audiences. So you've got your trappy stuff on this album. There's plenty of songs where Ghana's cooking with that flow that... Everyone loves him for, but yeah, you have to drop some of these out from sometimes, man. Yeah, you had to get breezy on the wall, my bro. And let's play Conscious Track 6 15. Oh, fame's a classic. Easy classic. Easy classic. This is another one that he uh, put on his Instagram story. This one's called. Oh, nice. 
can't even tell I'm high, said, but I feel low. Oh. Ain't no shit, I'm just process, now I'm letting it all go. Nigga, can't come through, it's not a contest, so I'm here to let you know. Young gon' wanna come down, so I said, I'm rolling in the road. Bro. Show him it's a lot, just be some top dog, I really give him hope. Told you I'm just being me, I'm a homie, bitch, black, go low, go. Yeah. I spread 100 G's, I'm cheating, I'm saying low. Ain't hey, no nigga lane, I'm standing the same, I'm playing my own. Ain't fine shit, I'm fed up, this nonsense. Fire. I remember this one. I remember this exact snippet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I remember that lyric there. We're going to pull it back for that because common sense does not even seem common sometimes. Hold up, Astro. We pulling this one back. We definitely pulling this one back because ever since that common sense line, it's like, bro, just decided to go crazy. I'm really rocking with this song. What are you guys feeling about this song? <laughs> you see Carmen? Yeah, <laughs> Trump go crazy. Go triple double like Westwood if they play me the ball. Fire. Uh, it can't be current, uh, Russell Westbrook. <laughs> What's up, guy? Fire. Yo, this one might have to be in the top five, gang. I might need help cooking up this top five, but yo, conscious. This has brought me back to life, man. This is a spark that I needed. We kind of went through the R&B section of the album on a trap album, and sometimes it can throw you off guard, but we back to those vibes, and this isn't even a track like Back in the A or Trish, but Gunner's, you know, in his bag in terms of dropping gems on this album amongst just having fun with the flows. I like this one. Can't beat me at all. <laughs> Fire. Let me grab some water though. My mouth's getting real dry, man. The time, let's go. Track 16. I lucky there was no coffee in that one, cause boy, that'd have been problem. I can tell you about the time I made a call when we got right. I can tell you about the wind and the bounces in my life. Yo, conscious to the time. I like that transition. This one sounding serious. Last two tracks brought me back to life. Um, triple dollar sign featuring No Money, Fire Song. Um, I'm saying her name very awkwardly and weird, but please don't judge me. This one's this one's fire. <laughs> Roddy Rich on the next track. Let's go. Can't wait. <laughs> yep. I want to work in overtime. Um, right, let me pull it back. Let me pull it back. <laughs> That's fine. I just want to be. I want to work in overtime. Case I clock it in. I want to work in overtime. Case I clock it in. I just want to be. I want to work in overtime. Case I clock it in. I just want to be. I want to work in over
Working overtime. Can't start clocking in. Gun, uh, wanna work in overtime. Can't stop clocking in. Nah, for sure, man. Keep dropping those gems. Like, listen, I think ever since Ghana come out of prison, I know people might be like, you're acting like he's very lyrical. Nah, it's not that. It's just uh, dropping a couple things that are very relatable and that things sh people should definitely apply to their life. I think when we look back at his music, DS4. One or we look at songs like Mop and uh, Mop Mop is fire from DS4, but what was Gunner really talking about on that album? Him and Young Fug look sounded like they just popped a perk and just said anything that came to their mind. But there's a few more like facts about life and you know more gems that he's dropping in his music. That's not me saying I prefer him doing this, it's just sometimes you do have to switch up the vibe a little bit. Certain artists certain artists need to take note. What we say? Yep. He said, I don't even feel like myself at times. I think I change. I like that, man. For reflecting about who he was before, you know, probably before jail and who he is now. Sick bars. This song's one of those songs as well where I don't actually want to talk over the song. Certain songs you just have to let play, man, for real. <laughs> We saying though, is that better? The Spotify. Head to head my age. Head to head my age. I always push my top a lot. Tell her it's okay. It's okay. I feel like my thoughts are tight. She like it's not change. How the shit we spoil about. Know this shit feels strange. She gotta be wrong. I got real folks giving me praise. I be doing love from all my fans when I'm on stage. I was thinking girls, I heard they ain't never go away. Giving out my mind, not even thinking it could break. I'm working for my God and I'll be thinking on when I pray. Hate to waste my time. I'm impatient, but I can wait. Hey, this table life shines. I shine bright like the sun in May. Hang on, play by mine. I'm gonna do what it takes. I can tell you by the time I made a call and we got right. Fire. I can tell you by the way and all the losses in my life. I can tell you by the time we didn't give up, but we still fight. I can tell you by the time. I can tell you by the money, cars, and holes in the ice. I can tell you by the time I counted. Shout out to Adam, you said Conscious is his favourite song from the album. I can definitely see why. And you know, I wouldn't be surprised if some people had the time in their top five as well. Gems. Cold man, let's go let's go to track seven Ian. Let it breathe. I need to get this top top five out. Ugh. Roddy Rich, let's go. You know what? Roddy Rich and Gunner have a history. On, please excuse me for being antisocial. The track start with me. Wow, I didn't even know it had two hundred twenty-five million streams. But yeah, start with me is legendary. They've also got another track on Wanna is cooler than a. You guys would know about that one. One of my favorite songs as well. I'm trying to see which song actually done better. That done really well as well, over 100 million streams. Not to say that's how we judge music, but both tracks uh, went crazy. This is definitely a duo that make a lot of noise when they drop. So yeah, I'm tuned in for this one. This should be fire. Yeah, top five on the way, top five on the way, man. I don't know what I'm going for. Let me not talk over this one. I don't know what I'm going for though. Top five on the way, man. Got some ends in teleported. 
I secure my needs, flying out cost support, but fear my wings, thank you for my mother, if a pops can't in the sea. <laughs> thanks for my mum and thanks to Pats and Flight of the Sea. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> I actually don't know what my favourite song is so far. I mean, I'm so tempted to go for some of the litty songs like Neck on a, Neck on a Yacht, um, What's Up, Hakuna Matata, Back in the A, Blackjack Was Fire, Trish. I mean, Trish might have to be in there. Like, he's only saying Trish the whole time, but... I'm dancing. That's got me there flexing. Uh, the triple dollar sign track with Normanies fire. Uh, Conscious might have to be there. I don't know. You guys are just going to have to wait for the top five. I'll be real. I need to, you know, once I've posted this on YouTube, I'm going to quickly play the album again and then get the top five out. But, boy, I don't even know what's making it and what's not. Big fan of uh, pretty much every song on the album, though. What's yours? These slow tracks are produced very well. People always just praise the tracks that are fast and hard hitting and got a kick to it and want to say yo those are the best beats just because they're the litty tracks and the ones that get played in the parties but these ones i kept saying and i said it earlier these ones go under the radar take them in I haven't heard Roddy Rich in a long time, man. Just to pay homage and give you my flowers. Listen, a lot of people have been saying you've fallen off. Now, I don't think it's that bad. I just don't think you've really been dropping that much. I can't wait to take this verse in. Shout out to Roddy as well. Real one for sticking with Gunner as well. The rest of the industry took the left turn. Gunner's still dropping songs bigger than half of the industry. Shout out to Roddy. He's a real one. For sure. I showed you real love. You only had to stab me in my bag. It was only a fuck him out with blank card. Biggest shoddy on the dog. Make my brother made that. Double R, I ghost them all. Quick to follow protocol. Might get the folks involved. Flirting with promethazine. Sipping happy dose and all. Even wow. though the paper's straight. I would chase a million. I remember coming out section eight. Yep. Now I got expensive taste. Mm -hmm. Take your bitch a level taste. Just get on my hand behind the house. My room got elevated. I ain't been having time. I'm on my grind. It's all fake. Grand flying pressure on the heart. Like, these lot are cooking. These lot have got 100% chemistry between each other as well in terms of making music. I had to drop that up before people think I'm suggesting something else. But Roddy Rich, Garner, you lot never miss, man. Another great collaboration. Guys, where's Cobra back, though? For those that are big Garner fans, you know what I'm talking about. Where, where's Cobra back? I know you lot been sitting on that one for a while. What? You don't want to drop it? Garner, where's Bank Don't Close, Kit on the Caddy? I'll throw a shot at you. Where, where, where are some of those tracks? Like, I know they can fit straight onto this album. Bro, I didn't realise that Spotify is um, small on your screen, innit? Let me see if I can adjust it for you real quick. But if not, because listen, I don't really know how to work Twitch as much as... Um, other people do. If not, um, I'm just gonna have to leave it because we got to the um, back end of the album. But. Hey, Artist from Jordan, send me your song on Insta, bro. Oh, what's it called? What's it called? Let it breathe. Shout out to Roddy Rich, cooking.
Great collab. That was the last um, feature from the album. Track 18, Life Changing. Can't abort the mission, safe to say I'm all in. Nice, man. His pen is sharp. His pen uh, definitely improved on a gift and a curse, but yeah, it seems even more polished on this album. Less rapping compared to that album, but still got a switch of flows on the album that are different to his previous work, and I'm enjoying it. The slow songs on the album are nice. I mean, when you get a chunk of them together, I'm not sure how I feel about it, you know, like in, in terms of the way that he's done the track list, but... If we're talking about the slow songs on the album, I rock with them. Sleeps on the road like a kid. All these critics trying to pick my. No, 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 no. I gotta catch you. I don't even want to say that lyric wrong. That was fair. You said, Are you going to the Travis Europe tour? Yeah, 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 for sure. I ain't got tickets as of now, but I'm definitely going to go to that. And Nathan finna take it to the concert. You never know, bro. You never know. If we, the money's looking different by the time that comes, then who knows, bro? I appreciate you for supporting me. I'm a caveman. Catch you. I'm a caveman. I'm a caveman. I ain't even heard that one before, but that show that goes to show how catchy it is. Track 19, today I did good. What are you saying? You going to the circus, Max, Maxus, Maximus tour, sir? Yeah, they good. I ain't be eating no bullshit in fitness. Wake up, I feel fit. And thank God every morning, I'm still rich. I'm still rich. Open your eyes, see the bigger pit. The bigger pit. She go hit differently. Niggas can feel my adrenaline. No. Just questions like Tristan and Benjamins. <laughs> Bachelor, but I'm also a gentleman. I'm generous. Who are who are niggas genuine? This one a colder on me, ass bit, dressed like a polar. 
Got a passion for fashion, I told her. Yeah. In the cabins with a bad bitch on me, and I can't even control her. I need passports. We going global, this bitch bad for. All right, we gonna run that one back, cause the production is so impressive, and Gunner's just rapping, rapping on this one. I'm, <laughs> I'm here for it. She gonna hit differently. Niggas can't feel my adrenaline. Just rushing up, dressing the bedrooms. Bachelor, but I'm also a gentleman. Generous. Oh, 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 I'll leave a genuine. This one, a colder on me. Ass bit, dressed like a polo. Got a passion for fashion, I told her. In the cabins with a bad bitch on me, and I can't even control her. I need passports. We going global, this bitch bad for fans. Yeah, poor. I do the dash. I crash in a pussy whenever I don't got a ass. No. Wake up and get to her, go hustle and get this cash. Wake up and get to her, go hustle and get this cash. I got an influence from her to the motherland. I can do not pull it, shot full of react the plans. Yeah. You're one of the coolest and true to who I am. Today I did good. I ain't be eating no bullshit and fitness. Wake up, I feel fit. Yo, shout out to Ghana for this record here. Today I did good. We're talking about you know, earlier on in the album I was talking about him being less experimental on the album and funny enough. We play the album, continue playing the album, and you start to see the more experimental side of Gunner. You know, he dives into that R&B sort of bag. And then with this track here, he's just floating like crazy. I'm going to be honest, songs like Living Wild. Um, I'm trying to think of songs where, you know, he's just rapping and you can really feel that he's putting some emotion into it. Even a track like Back to the Moon, I mean, it's a bit more trip to the trap side of things. But yeah, man, he was going crazy on that. Go crazy. But I feel like this actually feels like a typical, like, actual rap record instead of a trap song. This is good. I think I ain't really wanted, I'm still rich. I'm still rich. Open your eyes, see the bigger pick. The bigger pick. She gonna hit differently. Niggas can feel my adrenaline. Just rushing up, dressing the Benjamins. Bachelor, but I'm also a gentleman. Generous, go roll, go roll, I need the genuine. Take care of my mother and brothers and do my best to just look out for others. When you wish and famous, shit never subtle. Everything high key, even when you low on the cover. Somehow it always be. Popping out with my little shorty and we ain't got a sneak. I can't wear like three for security, I ain't even deep. Fellow was in bulletproof, show get young on the one elite. Baby won't stop sucking me up when she suck it till I sleep. Don't with that my money still up. Real love is all I need. Yeah. Trust me. I just showed on how you manage stand up. How I trust in G-O-D. Today I did good. I ain't be eating no bullshit and fitness. Wake up, I feel fit. And think I need real money. I'm still rich. I'm still rich. Open your eyes, see the bigger pick. The bigger pick. She go hit differently. Niggas can feel my adrenaline. Just rush it up, dressing the Benjamins. Bachelor, but I'm also a gentleman. Beats 10 out of 10. <laughs> Beats 10 out of 10. Shout to Gunner Wanna, man. Yeah, for sure. Fire. Mm, 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 mm. One of my favorite records from the album, man. Time reveals, be careful what you wish for. The outro, we've reached that period, unfortunately. Shout out to everyone locked in. Hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Twitch. Let's go. Okay, this is the one that you performed at his show. I'm starting to cut these bitches up, I'm tired of playing You had your chances with a boss and kept the plans That's why my pop and pick and so we can get them dead Nine days I'm feeling picky, leaving that bitch in red It ain't no more free kick, you see what I'm saying I need you to tell that bitch to pull up cause I can I see some shit don't go as planned, I understand Started on life and you'll just stand just as a man I'm trying to get back the way I hustled and fuck the thrill I trust that bitch so I can cover every bill I'm standing back it up, pull up back in the field Pass up so much as fun, I see you in hills Ain't having top, not the shit, even not the crib Better pull on the Gucci slides, take off the heels Still having eyes, but I'm in real, I'm really chill Me and my classmate, I had spilled before the deal Album's fire, man. Okay,
money. Have to. Have to. <laughs> Nice outro. Nice way to close the album. There's gonna be a beat switch on this one. I feel like any When I was talking about certain songs don't need to be, they don't require me speaking over, this is a, cl a classic example. Let the music do the talking, man. No B switch. I don't even feel like I'm listening to Ghana. I respect the risks being taken for sure. I wanna skip it, but I respect Gun. I feel like he's gonna jump on. How come I like gold mid reaction? Wow. So 300 rats get your family. Which one? <laughs> the official reaction for Ghana One of One. I hope you guys enjoyed the album. Comment down below what your favorite tracks are from the album One of One. I enjoyed pretty much every track from the album, if I'm being completely honest. So I'm going to put together a video after this, which is my top five songs from the album. Um, this is a particular p uh, series that I've got that I started on TikTok that I'm going to be sharing on YouTube Shorts and I already have and yeah make sure you guys go check it out because I'm going to be sharing my top five songs I'll also be doing a review about the album very soon let me sit with it let me take it in really enjoyed it obviously it's hard to you know take in 20 songs back to back but yeah now nah, shout out to Ghana again this is another album where you've delivered I haven't let down the fans and the run is crazy like Wanna, uh, Dripple Drown 2, Wanna DS4, A Gift and a Curse, One of One, like, bro, when are you going to miss? I don't know. They're trying to take you out the industry. They still can't. So just keep dropping that heat on, on, the, on the industry. Keep winning. And yeah, man, I really enjoyed it. And I'm heading out. You look, have a blessed night. Yeah.